This is profiling. This is putting the profile on the outside of the ring. In this case, it's going to be a taper or a Napier style cut. So this is going through CNC and it's cutting it, you know, one ring at a time. It'll come in, change out a part, come into the next part. But this is, this is profiling of the ring. Okay. Now rings are not perfectly symmetrical. There's kind of a different side for how the piston yeah, is running, Yeah, depending right? on the position. So there's lots of different shapes of the face of the ring. Typical top rings are typically barrel shaped. They've got kind of a crown and that allows the ring to come through rock over. As the piston hits top and bottom dead center, it has to rock. It's got to change directions and it'll roll on the wrist pin. So we want that ring to be able to kind of glide through that cylinder wall yep. and keep contact. If it's flat, it's going to want to tip up and sit on the corners. The second ring though, the second ring's primary job is as an oil scraper. Now it, granted, it does hold compression, but it's primarily an oil scraper. So it's going to have a tapered face, like a scraper, like the razors that we use to shave our faces. Okay. Some of them are in Napier, they have a little hook cut out in the bottom, but they're still a tapered face, they're angled. Now we can actually do combinations as well. We can do barrels, offset barrels, angled tapers. You can do combination rings as well. A little more complicated, a little more expensive, okay. a little more time consuming, but that can be done okay. because of this type of equipment. And what about the oil ring at the bottom? Oil Any rings are, there? yeah, there's three piece style oil rings, which are, excuse me, referred to as flex pens. Yep. And then you have the older cast iron styles. Yep. Most of what we do are going to be the three piece flex pen style. Okay. So like you saw over there, we have that wavy expander bracelet -y part, and then you have the upper and lower scraper ring. 